Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, so right now I'm, I'm actually looking in the background about a, a bench that actually says any day um, fishing is a good day. So really, we're here at the perfect place. It feels great out here. We're talking about some of the fish um, that David has already pulled out of the water this morning. What do you have now? So a couple other uh, populations of fish we have here at Gist Creek are crappie, which is very popular, and flathead catfish. So we also have channels. So Gist is excellent for those. Also recommend hitting Taylorsville Lake for both of these species. A few other places in the Louisville area that provide excellent fishing is the Floyd's Fork there at the Parklands. Mm -hmm. Also in the Parklands at North Beckley is two of our Fins Lakes. So we keep those regularly stocked with channel catfish, trout during the winter, and we also monitor for the bass and bluegill and shellcracker. You may also check out McNeely. It's kind of an overlooked little gym right in the middle of Louisville. Mm -hmm. Excellent shellcracker and bluegill uh, sunfish populations. I hope people are just taking notes, writing all these places down because this is some good information. It's overlooked and the opportunity is phenomenal. Okay, and now we're wondering who actually can go fishing. What do you need to get started? And that's what you were going to tell us, Jeff. Yes, uh, for, you will need a fishing license if you're over 16 years of age. Uh, but check out the department's website at fw.ky and you can get a copy of your... Kentucky Fishing and Boating Guide. You can also find these at some at different sporting good uh, locations. The other publication you may want to take a look at is the fishing forecast and tips. This gives you uh, every lake in the state and the fish that are in those lakes and what the current assessment is for those, whether they're good fair, excellent, you know, what the, the forecast is for fishing in those lakes. Kind of like a little cheat sheet, huh? Yes, it is. I and mean, I hear the fishing. You're not supposed to go and expect to catch anything, but this is helpful. Well, it gives you an idea of where you may want to go to fish for certain fish. Yeah, so. okay. And when we were talking about the fishing license, if, people, if parents are like, oh, I, I'm in some of the, these more urban areas, and he just listed some of those spots that are close to me, they want to take their kids fishing. Do they need a license to take their child fishing? Uh, they don't need a license to take their child fishing, but if they are plan planning on actively fishing, they would need a fishing license. Okay, well, I think there's some pretty good opportunities. I'm sure coming up this summer, the weather feels nice right now. I know it's not going to be the case for the rest of the day, but I think you should all mark on your calendars to take the kids fishing. Yeah. That's a fantastic idea. Good way to get outside. Yeah, yeah. and I, I know kids would probably love to catch a fish. It's a special moment. Now, Matt, I have heard a little rain is good for fishing. <laughs> yeah, the, the grayer skies can uh -huh. let you maybe fish a little longer in the day. And